the doctors had to vary the frequency a little bit while they were treating the patient. It's all documented, Jeff. Vary it how much? Would pulsing Back and it forth would, with the dial a slight amount? Would pulsing it work, or would it have to be varied? Yes, yeah. yeah. that's why Hoyland put the gate frequency in there mm -hmm. to pulse this. But the doctors didn't trust that, so they varied it anyway. Hmm. So see here, in this case, it was 4.4 .4 megahertz. Hmm. And I say right here, this is probably why the doctors complained of having to recalibrate the machine all the time and often varied the frequencies around when using the machine. Mm -hmm. There's the answer right there. Hmm. And I proved that out by varying it around. So I did the same thing. Right. So let's go. We're going to the videos there on the next page. Okay. Down at the bottom and on the left, you'll see videos on the next page. Yeah, so let's go down here, and this is why I'm saying that the BCX machine and a few other machines can do this. Because if I can do this using the same type of RF output that they're using, mm -hmm. and their machines are intermixing the frequencies, right? They the, 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 the only thing is that you must be close to what you're getting at. So here it is. Let's go to the first one, Paramecium Destroyed. Okay, and that should take a, a few seconds to load, but, but we right. want to watch this. It's on your left. Yeah. It's in blue. It says, see the videos. Yeah. And you made these? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. I had, I had everybody there under a whip until I got this. <laughs> All right, well, you can see them yep. uh, swimming, moving around. Now watch the pulse come through yeah, and yeah. bang. They just explode. Well, that's in a, a, I can't even imagine how quickly that happens, but they're just mush. Yeah, but watch that again. Go back uh -huh. and watch it again and watch the wave that goes through the liquid. Okay, hold on. So you can do this by hand. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yes, it's a sonic wave. Huh. See it? Interesting. It moves yeah. everything. Yeah. Now let's go to the next one. A sonic a, wave. Stun, Boom. Let's go. Stunned with RF only, but then dis disintegrated with 12 kilohertz audio modulation. Let's do that one. All right, stunned with RF only. RF is radio frequency. Yeah. And what does the BCX use? Yeah, it's a R RF generated, sure. Yeah. It's the only way to do this. Yeah, and the the uh, the manual, everything is in hertz. Yeah. In uh, that's RF. Mm-hmm. Well, in, in hertz is in cycles per second. Right. So watch this video. And boy, we got them there. We had to make a special setup on a microscope to get this. Huh. What is the dark black line on the left? Okay, that is on top of the, the slide. There's a there's a wire that's on top of the slide I that's see. carrying the signal. Uh huh. So it's coming of off that wire. I get it. Okay. Yeah, because we can't put the tube right there. See. Right. All right. Now let's do that one again. Okay. And there watch the wave. I stun them with the RF. That's just the radio frequency. Mm -hmm. So they slow down. And then I hit them with the audio. Watch. Okay, I'm watching it. There, they get slower. They go, all right. I stun them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm going to hit them. Bang. Bang. Yeah, they're gone. Yep. They're in pieces. See it? Yeah, they are in pieces. Yeah, and if we don't do it, we just keep dropping this stuff on the slide here, mm -hmm. you know, because I wanted these videos. <laughs> you know, I wanted I wanted this stuff up on the Internet because I wanted everybody to know mm -hmm. that this stuff does exist. Okay, now, what I mm -hmm. do here is I take a neon lamp, right, mm -hmm. and I put it in series 
with the wire on top of the slide, and I still kill them. Watch. I just blow these things up. Actually, the next video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hmm. pretty quick. It's yeah, a it fast is. one. Yeah. And bang. Okay, that's how you folks can kill living organisms with with RF. Right. Now, also, I've I've put up here. I show you some pictures of what this AZ is putting out for waves here mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. top. And I guess you got a little break here coming up. Yeah, I see. Very good. Okay, excellent. Back in a minute with John Bedini. Okay, an unprecedented look at the work of Royal Raymond Reif through the eyes and mind of John Bedini and his colleagues. So it is uh, up there on the net, understandable now for the first time, really. I think anybody, even I think a high school uh, pre-med type or anybody with any kind of scientific background, I, anybody could get, I think, a good grasp of this, John, simply by following the way you put this together, and it's uh, it's a marvel to see. Well, that's it, you know, it's something that I just had to do because I had to test all these things in my own mind, Jeff. And um, well, I know I, you've been working on this for many years. Oh, 22 uh, years. Yeah, I know. You know, I had to come up with uh, what I said here. Uh, the Abrams machine is nothing more. But let's let's talk a little bit about what it's what the thing is that actually allows this to happen. Okay. Okay. The Abrams machine, or the oscilloclast, what it was termed the oscilloclast, was nothing more than a set of induction coils. And what I mean by induction coils, electromagnets, okay? And um, by breaking and making an arc with these electromagnets, you generate a high voltage. And, and us guys that work in that field with high voltages call it a potential. So... By beating that potential, by taking that potential and applying it to you, you charge, and then the charge slowly discharges out of your system to ground. And then the machine comes back. It's it's like a pendulum swinging back and forth, Jeff. Bang, you get hit with this potential, and then the pendulum starts to swing the other way, yeah. and the potential bleeds off to ground. Mm -hmm. So... By doing this, you charge and discharge yourself, and and at the same time, this DC potential contains all these hmm. frequencies mm -hmm. in harmonics, mm -hmm. and so therefore, uh, you can you'll just hit upon the one. It'll work. I mean, it 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 has to work because. You can see it show up on the spectrum analysis. Right. So whether the machine is real powerful or, or not as powerful as what Wright had, <laughs> kind that, of doesn't that matter, then just it? takes a little more time. Right. In other words, you may end up taking an hour treatment in your mm -hmm. experiment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I've had, uh, I've had people say, well, I can just drive a spike in a tree and bring the wire from the tree.